have other ones that you can choose from, and I encourage you to try them in different ways, different varieties, and then your palate, like I said earlier, will start to change over time, and that will help you to adhere and stay connected to what your body needs is the good nutrients that are whole and nutritious and not the packaged processed stuff that, you know, has a ton of chemicals in it. Your body doesn't recognize chemicals as food. It stores it as fat. Um, your, your cells start to deteriorate over time. Uh, your white blood cell count goes down because you're not giving it the nutritious food that it needs. So eat a variety of whole nutritious food. So get it in the natural state. Get it in a natural state. Whole grains, so whole grains like brown rice, uh, quinoa, for example, are some great examples of whole grain. And they make whole grain pasta now. They're making pasta out of chickpeas, which has some great protein value in it for you as well. So you can kind of knock two birds out with one stone. You're getting some healthy carbohydrates. You're getting some whole grains by um, incorporating uh, like chickpea pasta and that kind of thing into your diet. All right, nuts and legumes are really good, so lentils are perfect. Um, beans, black beans, kidney beans, you know, we love, you know, our chili this time of year because it's cold here in Michigan, so get you some chili. You know, we just made at Ghost Smoothies, uh, we had a five bean chili, and I hear that it was a great hit amongst the customers, so you got to stop in and try that out. Um, with no flour, it's made with no dairy and no meat, but still very, very flavorful. All right. I want you to eat less for nutrient-dense foods, so eat less of those. So I already talked about what that means. So the ones that are packaged, um, pre-packaged, uh, you know, the, the fake cheeses and, you know, the butter that has all different kinds of stuff. You know, we had this conversation a few weeks ago about country crop versus butter. Choose butter all day, every day. I know back in the 80s there was this big thing about, you know, less fat, less fat, less fat. So they came out with all these chemical-laden foods that aren't good for us. So if you need butter, you need oil, actually I, I am, am trying to be more oil free, but if you need oil, choose whole butter because the only thing that's in it is cream and salt. All right, so eat less for nutrient foods and I've already talked to you about that. If it's got a label on it, nine times out of 10, it is for nutrient food, all right? And then the last thing is don't smoke. Do not smoke. So keep those cigarettes out of your mouth. Now, I love that the American Heart Association, you know, over time, and really everyone has kind of uh, been more aggressive about what they're saying about smoking. You know, before it was kind of limit smoking, you know, back in the 80s and then, you know, 90, you know, try not to smoke. But now it is absolutely unequivocally, without a doubt, do not smoke, do not smoke, do not smoke, because that is going to ruin your heart health, not to mention the fact all the other things that go along with uh, smoking tobacco and guess what you're ruining the health of your family if you are smoking that secondhand smoke can be almost as detriment to them as you smoking the actual tobacco yourself so don't do it don't do it don't do it we love our families we love our kids do not smoke around your people don't come in the house with that smoke on your clothes because again that whole secondhand we're breathing in all these chemicals and stuff and it's not good for us all right. The other thing that I left off, too, um, when you're consuming meat, so I'm vegan. I don't eat any meat. I don't have any meat. I adhere to a plant-based diet. But if you are a meat eater, I want to be able to give you some resources and some things that you can do differently in your diet. So skinless poultry, skinless fish are some things that you can incorporate in your diet. We love having our, you know, fried chicken skin and the fat and all that that just adds to more fat and would also elevate your risk for heart disease. So the more fat you have in your diet from added fat and fat from meat, added fat meaning, you know, you're cooking in canola oil, we're using fake and fat and all that kind of stuff, that lends to a greater risk for heart disease. So I'm just asking you right now that, you know, take the skin off your meat, have, you know, cook it and just Keep the skin off of it. Keep the skin off of it because that is going to decrease the level of fat that you consume uh, on a daily basis tremendously, and that will help your heart health also. So I hope on today's show that I provided you with some really good tools. Um, a lot of us are, are out there all about statistics, but sometimes it's just the statistics mean nothing until it happens to us, and my goal is to have it not happen to you, not have it happen to one of your loved ones and to help you to 
thrive in this life and not just survive. All right, so come to go smoothies today, 110 Clifford Street. We're open from 9 a.m., uh, which we're in the noon hour now, almost, almost, yeah, almost 1 o'clock. So come to go smoothies, 110 Clifford Street, downtown Detroit. And I have Zianna and Derek there, and they will be more than happy to help you to make a, a delicious selection today. And join me next week. Next week, I'm going to have Paul who is the founder of the Plant-Based Nutrition Support Group. And Paul is going to tell you all about his journey to good heart health. And he will share with you that he was literally at death's door, you know, wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him changing his diet and completely changing it, the trajectory of where he's going with his heart health. So please, please, please join next week, 1230. I'm going to have Paul on, and he's an amazing individual. You know, you can go to PN, plant-based nutrition support group.org and learn more about it um, before he comes on. And I would be interested to have you guys call in, too, on that show so you can learn more about uh, living a plant-based diet. If that's something that you choose to incorporate as your lifestyle change as you get healthier. All right. So happy Saturday. Everybody go live well and join me next Saturday. Help Coach Callie. Peace.